Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of automotive rhythms. Come on in here at the Ren Center in Detroit, Michigan for the Centennial Chevrolet. And when they say they run deep, they mean it. From the original's Corvette Stingray to the Envy, which is electric network vehicle, they're launching an array of new vehicles that's going to be sustainable and electrified. Right here, we have a car that can network on its own, navigate through traffic, avoid accidents, and of course, all electricity. Stay tuned as we take you behind the scenes of some of their new products and get inside the minds of executives and what the expectations are for the future of Chevrolet. And now, for the first time, we would like to show you the new Chevrolet Spark. What we're bringing out in the calendar year 2013 will be our Chevy Spark. It's a vehicle we already have in production today. Smaller than a Sonic, really well sized for, for city dwellers, urban, mega city type of areas. And we will have a pure electric version in calendar year 2013. It's another entry in our propulsion strategy lineup where we have pure electric, electric with uh, extended range with the Volt. We have hybrids. It's just showing that Chevrolet is making sure that we meet all the needs of our customers. For 100 years, Chevrolet has been focused on making technology both accessible and affordable. The Chevrolet Envy concept will help continue in that tradition. For city dwellers in countries like China, India, the Envy technology could provide safe, efficient, and connected personal mobility. We envision one day connecting all vehicles and their passengers through a mobility internet that offers safer travels, and eventually autonomous driving. The Colorado design will convey strength through the bodywork that appears tightly wrapped over its chassis. In the front, Chevrolet's gold bow tie and dual port grille are flanked by large headlamps that flow into the front fenders. We launched the Colorado this month in Thailand, which is the world's largest market for mid-sized pickups. Following Thailand, we'll launch it in markets around the world, and I'm pleased today to confirm that one of those markets will be the United States. Camaro has a very important role in the Chevrolet lineup. It's a very iconic vehicle. I feel as though it did a lot to really change the brand. It's like Camaro lit a fire within the whole Chevrolet community. The car was designed with a convertible in mind from day one. So it's got the kind of structural rigidity that a good convertible should have. Now I'm here with Jim Campbell, the Vice President of Performance Cars and Motorsports. Jim, how are you doing? It is great to see you. Thanks for being here. Chevy Centennial, a lot of great news today, particularly in the motorsports department. You all just announced a new IndyCar, twin turbo six cylinder, uh, very exciting. And the fact that you're going to be racing in Detroit again at Belle Isle Island. What are the implications for the city itself? Economic-wise, the city does need a stimulus, and it seems like this just may be the caveat for that. Well, there, there's, no, there's no doubt that when the Detroit Grand Prix existed previously, they ran it two different years, there was definitely a positive economic impact. So it's great to have the race come back and have a similar impact or better uh, you know, here in 2012 and beyond. You know, Chevrolet and also the folks from GM, because without this, that would not be able to happen. Again, the city of Detroit and, and the mayor to bring this race back because, well, for me it's very special and obviously for the city it's very important. Well, I think we are on the verge of a comeback, but um, it, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. There are a lot of positive things that are going on right now and we want to build on that momentum. The business community have been absolutely unbelievable in their support and that's what's really uh, being embraced by everybody else now. So a very exciting day. We can't wait for the race to happen in June of 2012. Well, a lot of excitement, a lot of new products. Jim, congratulations and much, much success. Thank you, and thank you for being here. Great thank day. Thank you, not a problem. Yeah.